Hello students, welcome to today's lesson. Today we'll be looking at agriculture. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to state the meaning of agriculture, the components of agriculture, the importance of agriculture to the good of the economy, the problems of agriculture in Nigeria, and how governments can improve agricultural production. You should also be able to state agriculture development strategies and policies in Nigeria and the prospects of agriculture in Nigeria. Now, what is agriculture? Agriculture is the science or art of cultivating plants and livestock. It may also be defined as the production of animal, fish, crops, and forest resources for man's use. It is the most important sector in the West African economy. Components of agriculture. This includes crop production. Crop production is the cultivation of land for the growing of crops for use as fiber or food. The types of crops are either cash crops or food crops. Cash crops are crops like cocoa, rubber, cotton, palm oil, granite. They are planted mainly for export purposes while food crops are yam, cassava, rice, beans, which are planted for consumption. Another component of agriculture is livestock. Livestock involves the rearing of domestic animals like goat, sheep, pigs, cattle, horse, donkey, poultry, etc. Thirdly, we have forestry. Forestry deals with the planting and felling of trees. Next, we have fishing. Fishing involves the catching and rearing of fish. Then hunting, which is carried out in forest areas where wild animals are caught for meat. Now, what are the importance of agriculture to economic growth and industrial development? Number one is the provision of food. This is the most important aim of agriculture in any society. Number two, provision of raw materials. Raw materials are needed by industries for further production. Number three, it is a source of foreign exchange. Number four, it creates employment opportunities. Number five, it serves as a source of income. Six, it helps in the provision of labor for industries. It also contributes to the gross domestic product and lastly it is useful for construction purposes now let's look at the problems of agriculture in nigeria number one is the use of crude implements farmers still use the traditional implements like hose cutlasses when they are more modern instruments like tractors and number two poverty insufficient funds could restrict farmers from going into large scale production of crops number three the lack of storage facilities. This problem will make farmers produce small quantity and practice small scale farming. Number four is the lack of medical facilities for, for farmers when they get ill. Number five is the poor transportation system when farmers cannot conveniently convey their products, you know, their crops to the place where the, where the market is. It becomes a problem. Number six, the poor marketing system. Now let's look at some of the solution to this problem of agriculture in Nigeria and how governments can improve agricultural production. Number one is through the provision of, med of modern storage facilities. Number two is by the effective control of pests and diseases that attack crops. Number three is by educating farmers. Number four, by the mechanization of agriculture. Number five, by provision of credit facilities for farmers. Number six, provision of adequate medical facilities. Number seven, the improving of marketing techniques. Number eight is true appropriate research. Number nine, improving irrigation. And number 10, the control of erosion. Next, agriculture development strategies and policies in Nigeria. 
some of the policies put in place by the previous government to ensure the growth of agriculture in Nigeria include number one, the National Accelerated Food Production Program. This was initiated in 1972 by the Federal Department of Agriculture during General Yakubu Gowon's regime. This program focused on the bringing about of a significant increase in the production of maize, cassava, rice, and wheat in the northern states through subsistence production within a short period of time. Number two, Agricultural Development Project. It was formerly known as the Integrated Agricultural Development Project. It was established in 1974 in the northeast from Tswa, in the northwest Kusau, and in the north central Kumbi as pilot schemes. Number three, Operation Feed the Nation. This program evolved on the 21st of May 1976 under the military regime of General Ulushegu Opasanjo. It was launched in order to bring about increased food production in the entire nation through the active involvement and participation of everybody in every discipline, thereby making every person to be capable of partially or wholly feeding him or herself. The River Basin Development Decree was promulgated in 1976 to establish 11 river basin development authorities. The initial aim of the authorities was to boost economic potentials of the existing water bodies, particularly irrigation and fishery with the hydroelectric power generation and domestic water supply as secondary objectives. The Green Revolution. The Green Revolution was a program inaugurated by Shehu Shagari in April 1980. It aimed at increasing production of food and raw materials in order to ensure food security and self-sufficiency in basic staples. National Economic Empowerment and Development Strategy needs. This program was launched in January 2002 in all 36 states of the Federation during the tenure of President Olusegun Obasanjo. The broad objective of this program was to increase food production and eliminate rural poverty. And finally, we have the Root and Tuba Expansion pro Program. At the national level, the program was designed to achieve food security and stimulate demand for cheaper staple foods such as cassava, gari, yam, potato, etc. as against more expensive carbohydrate foods like rice. Prospects of agriculture in Nigeria Agriculture is a source of foreign exchange. Agriculture serves to create employment, it helps in provision of food, it also helps in curbing the rural urban migration when more people seem to move from, from the rural area to the urban area agriculture helps to curb that number five it improves the economy number six it leads to industrialization number seven it contributes to national income and number eight it reduces economic depression in summary, agriculture is important to economic growth and industrial development because it is a source of foreign exchange, it creates employment, it is a source of income, it contributes to the gross domestic product of a country, and it provides food. Government can improve agricultural production through the provision of modern storage facilities, effective control of pests and diseases, education of farmers, creation of credit facilities for farmers, provision of medical facilities for farmers, etc. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Now let's take down this assignment. List five problems of agriculture in Nigeria and their solutions. Thanks guys for listening. See you in the next class. Bye.